Hi guys, good evening, welcome back once again to The Edward. I'm your host, Eddie, and in tonight's video, I'll be doing yet another trailer reaction, this time to the first official trailer for War for the Planet of the Apes, which debuted earlier today. You know, first last night on the Jimmy Kimmel Live show, we had Spider-Man Homecoming, which looks amazing. Uh, I'm very excited about that. I did a pre my previous reaction video was to that trailer. You can check it out in the playlist here on my channel. Uh, and now, first thing I saw this morning, as soon as I woke up, I got on Facebook, and the first thing I see is War for the Planet of the Apes official trailer. Huh, okay, how about that? <laughs> and uh, sure enough, I get online, and there it is, and oh, it is good. It is looking good. Uh, Oh, I'm excited. I'm very excited. In fact, I liked it so much, I, it reminded me that I need to ask for Dawn of the Planet of the Apes for Christmas this year. Because <laughs> I've already got Rise, I need Dawn, and of course I'll be ready for War later this summer. <laughs> Oh, it looks good. It looks so, so good. We got a glimpse of Woody Harrelson's character, who, excuse me, who we only know as the Colonel. Uh, probably uh, a character similar uh, to uh, Walking Dead's The Governor, a man who's lost everything and has now just taken the name of a rank to identify himself, and the leader of a heart heavily armed uh Highly, uh, yeah, of a heavily armed, uh, quite a big uh, military force. Obviously, he will be our main main antagonist for the film. He and Caesar will go head to head. Literally, there's a moment where they're head to head in the trailer, and it looks like he's about to execute Caesar, but I'm sure he won't because something will happen at the last minute where Caesar will get out of it, or he'll have a change of heart. I don't know. But uh, what I am excited about is that this is really going to set the stage for actual full blown war because. I think further down the line, Caesar's going to realize there are more advanced apes out there uh, like him and his people. Because we've only seen this this group of apes uh, outside of San Francisco living in the Redwoods since Rise. We saw that in Dawn. And I think we're going to get a more uh, global scale or point of view uh, of how many just how many advanced apes there are out there. So perhaps, uh, you know, perhaps we'll get a mention of uh, the military, like these human survivors fighting other advanced apes all over the country or the world, perhaps. Maybe Caesar will reach out to them or something. But anyway, that's just me speculating. But this trailer looks amazing. Uh, I'm glad to see Maurice the orangutan i love the fact that uh you know he's still a uh, big kind-hearted galoot <laughs> uh you know he's got that human girl on horseback and you know you can see how much caesar has changed when he looks so scornfully at her but maurice gave him his big doughy eyes like Mm, almost you know what i think is going to be interesting is that caesar's going to go down a more vicious darker path than he's ever gone before because he realizes he needs to act more like an animal in order to save and protect his people but maurice will be there i think to act as his moral compass it's like you know what the humans may uh, be our enemy for now but not all of them are bad and perhaps that's why he saved that war or orphan and i don't know how else to refer to her as that but a war orphan something i know a couple things i noticed about the trailer number one uh, i'm really intrigued about the albino chimpanzee from the looks of it because there's caesar is like walking towards the colonel it looks like and he might be in chains or something there's a gorilla behind him uh, clearly it's a gorilla and then to his left it looks like an albino chimpanzee or an albino gorilla it's hard to tell based on the size of the animal because in the background it looks like the albino and the gorilla are the same size so it's some kind of albino ape how big of a role or who that character is we're not sure yet but i'm very intrigued by it i mean we've never seen an albino ape before in the franchise so that's interesting what is also interesting is that it looks like there were humans uh, firing Gatling guns at attack helicopters and there was like a tattooed gorilla fighting alongside them. Now at first I thought the gorilla was helping the humans fight the apes but then I watched the trailer a couple more times and realized wait a minute they're shooting at an attack helicopter so are these humans fighting with the apes against 
the colonel and his army against Woody Harrelson's character? Or is this particular gorilla helping humans fight other human survivors for some other reason? It, it raised a lot of questions and intrigue, and I'm very, very excited about it. So, you know, that was very cool. Obviously, we're going to get some really awesome, some big battle sequences between apes and humans. It looks like at first maybe a temporary truce uh, is, uh, is, re is uh, restored because it looks like they capture some human soldiers who are sneaking up on their sanctuary. But oh, from, the, oh, from the voiceover, Caesar makes it sound like he shows them mercy and maybe he lets them go. But they return with more guys and attack in full force and probably kill a lot more apes. And then Caesar decides humans can't be trusted and takes the fight to them. Who knows? But the trailer was very, very good. It was very awesome. Uh, it looks amazing. I'm very excited about it. I'm intrigued by all these things like the albino ape, whether it's a chimp or a uh, uh, gorilla. And of course, the gorilla fighting with the humans against the, at the, against the attack helicopters. That's also very interesting. And what the story is there, we're not sure yet. Also, uh, how uh, well will Caesar be able to speak English at this point? We don't know how much of a time gap there's going to be between Dawn and War. Probably not that long, I'm guessing, of a time gap. But uh, it'll be interesting to see if any of the other apes can start to speak in full sentences or if they're all still using sign language like they have in the first two films. Caesar can speak the most, but it sounds like his sentences are a lot more complete and full. I wonder if other apes will be able to speak speak as well. It'll be interesting to see. But I'm very excited about it. I hope you guys are too. War for the Planet of the Apes swings into theaters July 14th, 2017, this summer. Uh, stay subscribed to this channel as we stay up to date on all the coverage regarding this film and so many other upcoming blockbusters. Thank you so much for watching this trailer reaction video. Don't forget to subscribe for more reaction videos like this one. Also, check out the trailer in the description down below. I'll put a link there so you can watch Watch it as many times as your heart's desire. Uh, also, don't forget to check out my Facebook page, which is also in the description down below. Have a great rest of the night, everybody. Have a great weekend if I don't see you again. And of course, until next time, may the force be with you.